Hello and welcome back to another episode. So this one's all about the bodywork, uh, particularly the front wings. Now from the outside looking in, it doesn't look to be that much of a problem, it's pretty solid. And there's only a telltale sign here that there's a little bit of rust, a little bit of bubbling. But she's hiding a secret and to find out what that is we need to get underneath her. Let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh, yes, lots of problems down here, but they continue up into the wing itself. Now this lip is absolutely crusty. There's bits coming off it, you know, the paint. Um, so the way I look at this, I've got a few options. Option number one, I can simply replace the wing. Uh, it is the most expensive option, probably the easiest, but that's not what we do on this channel. So option two could be um, take all this lip back to bare metal, uh, have a look to see what's left, and then perhaps replace the lip. You can actually buy this lip. You cut this one out, reattach the, the new lip, filler it as you need to, paint it, away you go. But I think I'm gonna go with option three. So I'm gonna take the, the wing off, take it back to bare metal, see how much of this lip is remaining and is good. And then I'm gonna do what one of, um, one of you suggested actually, it was a Canadian viewer, so thank you very much for the suggestion, uh, and go with a fiberglass option. Hopefully there's enough of this lip left um, to wrap some fiberglass around and then filler it, paint it, spray it. Wish me luck. All right then, so before we go any further, do stick around towards the end of the video because we're going to be doing the draw for the Philips Racing Vision headlight bulbs. We've had quite a few entries in, so thanks for that. Uh, the wing itself is only held on with um, a combination of eight millimeter and 10 millimeter bolts. There's a couple at the front, a few at the back, a few along the top, and some sort of bunged push fit here. I'm not too sure what's going on there. We'll find out when I get to that bit. So I think I'm gonna start at the front, then the back, and then along the top so it's being held on, and then uh, pop it off. Right, so before you can tackle any bolts on the front, you've got to take off the front bumper. If you're not too sure how to do that, I have already taken the front bumper off and videoed that, so you can check that out in the link above. Uh, first bolt here is an 8mm. Now we've got, and um, there's a bracket just underneath with another eight mil bolt just here. Now the top of this one on the other side is quite crusty, so I'm a bit worried about this one. Just gonna work it backwards and forwards just a little. Right, so next thing I need to do is disconnect the indicator from the inside, which is this cable here. And there's just a, I think a turn connection just inside. Put that up out of the way somewhere. Okay, so now we've got a couple of 10 mil bolts just inside here. Now that was pretty difficult to get in to with a ratchet like that. So what I'm probably gonna do, just because this bit is fouling it, is break out the Milwaukee, the little one, the Milwaukee stubby impact wrench. Try and give me a hand. So just above those two bolts we've just taken out, we've got another eight mil bolt just up here. The 
this one's much easier. I might even be able to yeah, I can cut that out with my fingers. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is take off three bolts along the top and I'm hoping that the weight of the wing will pull whatever that push grommet thing is in here because I can't get access underneath, so... Oh god! Alright, so along the top we've got three 10mm bolts. I'm just going to use the Milwaukee to take these out just because it's all here ready. One. It's two. It should be everything undone. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you can see that, but there's just a like a plastic plug here. It doesn't look like it's doing a great deal. And that's it. And wing. I think that must be the easiest job I've done on this car. Touch wood. <laughs> right, so first impressions, not too bad actually. The actual chassis itself is, is in okay nick. This bracket could do with a bit of attention, clean that up. Uh, but all the screws came out intact, which is a first. Uh, all okay. And of course, there's a bit of work here, which is gonna happen in a, a later video. But all in all, quite pleased with that. Right, well that actually came off a lot easier than I was expecting it to. Normally bolts just shear off or disintegrate on me on this car, but they all came off quite easily, especially the ones over here which are relatively protected from water and, and so corrosion. But anyway, on with the giveaway draw. So I've got my wonderful assistant Jessica. Jessica, what have you got there? I've got the Philips Racing Vision headlight bulbs for the giveaway. Took about four attempts for it to get all that in one in one go, but yeah, brilliant, yes. okay. And I see you got some, some names in there as well. Yes. Did we get many in? Yes, we've got 33 names in. 33, that's not bad actually. That's a lot better than before, so Definitely. pretty good. So if you want to draw one out, good luck. Okay, good luck everyone. Right. Try not to spill. <laughs> Chris Wilson. So congratulations, Chris. We'll be in touch and we'll get those sent off to you. In uh, future draws, um, if you've got any ideas of what you might like, reasonable ideas, what you might like to see in draws, do let me know in the comments below. This was a suggestion that came through from a viewer on social media, so I do, do read them and listen to them. And I may even do multiple giveaways at the same time, so like a first and second prize or something like that. But uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.